The importance of having the person on the table, the client, the patient go into a deep state of relaxation is so that the body can actually heal itself better. Going into a deep state of relaxation is going to slow down the production and even stop the production of cortisol and also adrenaline. Those two stress hormones are almost always on in the hectic world that we live in. So it's very important to, to be able to take the person down deep so that they can turn off. They can get into this deep state of relaxation and their body can actually take over and do the healing that it's necessary. In the first video, I talked to you about the importance of having the subtle anatomy in alignment. And in the second video, I talked to you about how to get that feeling of the subtle anatomy into your hands. Now in this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about the reason that it's so important to get people into the deep, deep state of relaxation. You have to remember that a lot of the people coming in are in pain, so they have a lot of stress hormones running. Um, otherwise, there's other people that come in because they're so stressed out, so we want to be sure that they are also able to relax deeply. So when they come in in that kind of a wild state of mind, it's a good idea to get them on the table and to begin to just let them relax. Uh, you can do this by starting to release the diaphragms, which are the bands that go up the spine from the sacrum up to the neck. And then you can start to work on their head a little bit. It may seem funny to start at their head, but you begin to see that as, that, as those bones begin to move, the cerebral spinal fluid is flowing different around their brain, and it's a very soothing feeling, and it's very relaxing. So that'll put them in a state where they're going to be able to go deeper and deeper and deeper. It also will help their mind to turn off, particularly if you coach them at the beginning and tell them to pay attention to what they're feeling inside of their body. That gives them the focus inside their body, and then as the body begins to make these shifts, they begin to fall deeper and deeper into that deep state of relaxation. So let me show you a little bit of what I'm talking about here. Um, to relax somebody, you know, oftentimes the back of the head, right in this area of the bone, there's muscles attached there and they're oftentimes very, very tight. So we do a cranial base release, which begins to loosen that up and it begins to relax people down deeper. And then from there, when you move to the bones, you can see all of these sutures. I want you to understand that in the medical schools, they're teaching them that the bones fuse together at a certain age, but that's not true. You can feel these bones moving between, with each other and in relationship to each other. So they obviously do move. And if you look at a cadaver that's fairly fresh, you won't see ossification in these sutures. It's only going to be uh, connective tissue. Uh, they're very close together and they don't move a whole lot, but nonetheless, they still have movement. So when we start to lay the hands on the head, the head kind of carries a lot of the tension because thinking all the time and all that kind of stuff, it really puts more stress than we realize. So to be able to begin to isolate these bones and then put our hands on that area and just begin to see what it feels like, it's going to work its way all the way down the spine. As these little bones, they will be correcting to a certain degree, some more than others. And then this little part here, where it's where the blue and the red come together, that's the fulcrum of the body, and that's part that part of the body is extremely important to have these two bones aligned because that's going to give you the rest of the structure of alignment right at that position. So to start at the head, you're actually starting at the beginning of the journey for a subtle anatomy alignment pattern to happen because you're going to be working right there with the fulcrum. Before this fulcrum can be in, in position, these other bones that are related to these, to that um, area, which I'll show you from this one. Now this one is the sphenoid bone, which is the yellow bone and the purple bone. And this is the inside. You see how that sphenoid bone is connected to all the other uh, bones, pretty much all of them. There's a couple of the smaller ones that are in the face that are more indirect, but it's basically 
touching every other bone. So you're beginning to align those bones just slightly, and then that's going to allow the sphenoid bone, the yellow bone, to be able to take itself into the alignment with the occiput. If the other bones are not in place, you're not going to be able to move that, ful that fulcrum point very easily because these other bones are going to have to shift around it in order to get that into position. There's a process that happens when you begin to take them into deep relaxation through the diaphragm releases. And one of that is, is you're beginning to actually touch the body and bring, bring yourself into the body deeper. And during that process, the person on the table is going to have to kind of surrender to that. They're going to have to know that they trust you. And that happens at an unconscious level. So as you work your way up, you want to take the time with that because you'll be able to feel, you know, if they're, if they're relaxing down. And if, you know, once they're used to that, if they come in many times, they'll be relaxing down very quickly. So you don't have to take as much time. And then you have the kind of person that just will not stop talking. And some reason they probably do need to get that out and you can continue to work with them like that, but they just really need to talk. So you have to understand that that's okay because they will still relax with the work, but the thing is is that they're not going to get the kind of results that they're gonna get if they're gonna just surrender it all and go deep in. But oftentimes they want to talk because there's an emotional problem or issue that they're letting go of or they're talking through and trying to work that through themselves, which is fine. And so the thing to do is to just let them talk and maybe begin to do a little bit of the somato-emotional stuff just by asking them questions as they rattle on um, to keep them focused on what this is that they're talking about that's bothering them. But, but don't worry about it because the work will still work and so you can continue to just let them do what they need to do. Remember, the therapy that you're doing with the subtle anatomy and the alignment process is that the person on the table is fully in control of what's happening in, in the treatment room. You're not deciding what's best for them. They are deciding what's best for themselves and they're signaling you at an intuitive level to take care of them in that regard. In my course, Foundations of Subtle Alignment, I'm gonna be going over with you all of the techniques that I've told you about, of how to relax a person down, and then how to begin to align them from the sphenobasilar junction down to the feet. There's so many parts of the body that need to be aligned at very subtle, very small joints that most people overlook. These joints are vitally important in order to put the body into the proper alignment. And I also want you to remember and realize that the subtle alignment is the foundation for proper movement if you're in a sport or in dance or in something like that. And also it's important for proper function of the organs because then you're gonna get that nervous system in alignment to be able to stimulate the organs as well as taking out any fascial restrictions that are around the organs. So in the next video, I'm going to share with you my personal path to discovering this work and also developing this work. I'm going to share with you a little more about how it's changed my life and how it's changed the lives of many people that I have worked on. So thank you for watching today, and if you haven't looked at the videos prior to, please take a look at those too, because it's all foundational to where we're going. Thank you again. See you in the next video.